hello everyone so the next topic which we will be covering today is about the mitosis phase so in this we will be covering what is mitosis we will start with the introduction slide then we will discuss the history of mitosis then what is the process how a cell is being divided through the process of mitosis and what are the stages of mitosis so let's get started with the first slide of mitosis that is the introduction so the process that partitions newly replicated chromosomes equally into two daughter cells so in the process of mitosis the there is a diploid cell which gets converted into daughter cells two daughter cells so in mitosis a parent cell divides into two daughter cells and each receives an exact copy of the chromosomes in the parent cell so here the exact copy of chromosomes is been there's uh, there's a which receive which is received in the pa parent cell so this is the exact copy of chromosomes next comes the history so the term mitosis it is derived from a greek word it has been derived from a greek word which means thread and it was introduced by walter fleming in 1882 so this was the history of mitosis then comes the mitosis phase so during the mitosis phase there is a one round of dna replication and which is followed by a single round of chromosome segregation and they generate two identical daughter cells which is genetically very similar to the parent cell so we will understand this uh, through a diagrammatic representation in the next slide also but here in this we will be discussing the more of the theoretical things that what is all included in a mitosis phase so the number of chromosomes is preserved in both the daughter cells the number of chromosomes because the number of chromosomes are exact the same in the two daughter cells the genetic material is the same in from the, the from the parent which was received it is the same in the case of daughter cells so the number of chromosomes is perceived in both the daughter cells so there are two daughter cells which are formed then the short period of chromosome condensation segregation and cytoplasmic division so in the mitosis phase particularly there is a short period there is a short period of condensation there is a short period of segregation and there is a short period of cytoplasmic division then the mitosis phase they occur in the somatic cells and it is meant for the multiplication of cell numbers during embryogenesis and blastogenesis of the plants and the animals so it is meant for the multiplication of cell numbers and it is similar in almost all the plants and animals because the parents uh, the uh, the number of chromosome is is exactly the same which is derived from the parents so the genetic material is exact same so it is similar in all the plants and the animals then this is a diagrammatic representation which is showing this is a mother cell which has been showing here this is a mother cell in this there are uh, there there is two dnas which are present then there is a dna replication which takes place so this is a cell in which the dna replication takes place so there is a replication of the dna then what is happening the cell will elongate itself for the cell division so when the elongation process is there there will be segregation of the two daughter cells so the two daughter cells are from, formed from the mother cell so the copy of the dna is exact same for example here in case of this there is a blue color and the green color and in the daughter cells the exact same copies are been produced so we can compare that in the case of two daughter cells two daughter cell and the mother cell are the same so here the it is it is the phase of mitosis in which both the things are the same this is the reference uh, from where i have taken this image or diagram then what is the purpose of mitosis why are we focusing on mitosis so much because it is the process which is significant both in the cell division as well as the cell reproduction for example it is similar in the plants and animals so it is an essential part of the cell reproduction so there are some of the significances uh, or purpose which are given below 
there is a continuous mitosis which results in the number of cells which enables the organism to grow from the single cell to a complex living organism for example there was a single mother cell which gets converted into the, by the through the process of mitosis it gets converted into two daughter cells so it can grow from a single cell to a complex living organisms different cells in the body like the cells on the skin and the red blood cells are continue continuously they are replaced by the mitosis so here we have given the example that 5 into 109 cells are formed per day in human via the process of mitosis there is a mother cell which gets converted into two daughter cells so the process continuously uh, takes place in the case of humans via mitosis so mitosis is always involved in the repairment and regeneration of the body like in case of the starfish for example uh, in case of the starfish there is always always a regeneration of the body parts so when a when a piece of the body part of the starfish has been cut then it will be regenerated so it is the example here that mitosis plays a major role in the regeneration of the body structures in the starfish and in case of multiple organisms mitosis is the method of asexual reproduction so myto in case of multicellular organisms it is the method of asexual reproduction so that is why mitosis is very important uh, to study because it plays a major role in our in the human body as well in, as well as in the animals and plants also so th this was about the purpose of the mitosis then we will be discussing what are the stages of mitosis so uh, if we start with this then the m phase starts with the nuclear division they starts with chiro kinesis or mitosis so they correspond to the formation of daughter nuclei and usually results in the division of the cytoplasm so the process starts with the karyogenesis that, that is the nuclear division and it ends with the cytoplasm division so it is a continuous process and they are conventionally divided into four stages so it is basically continuous process so it has been subdivided into four stages the first is prophase second is metaphase third is anaphase and fourth is telophase so these are the four categories uh, these are the four phases in which the or sub stages in which the m phase has been divided so next is what are the stages of mitosis and cell division we will be discussing each of these phases in detail as a step is a separate topic but uh, here we will be discussing the overall stages of the mitosis so there is a first phase called inter interphase so interphase is basically consists of three further phases that is g1 phase that is gap 1 phase then it is the synthesis phase in which the dna replication takes place and then comes the g2 phase where the cell growth takes place so after the interphase the cell enters into the cell cycle enters into the m phase so this whole portion from here to here it is all m phase so uh, the interphase is subdivided into three subdivided into three that is g0 g1 s phase and g2 phase and then it will enter into the prophase so prophase it is the first phase in which the chromatin condens condenses into discrete chromosomes so here you can see there are a number of chromosomes in the prophase so they condenses into discrete chromosomes so uh, in the next phase it, it is the late prophase so there will be this condensation or uh, condensation into discrete chromosomes then comes the metaphase so you can see there are spindle fibers which uh, will align all the chromosomes in just one line so this is the metaphase so metaphase is an extremely dynamic part of the cell cycle so here spindle fibers they rapidly assemble 
and disassemble as they grow out and uh, to atta attach the sim uh, spindle fibers each chromosome has a specialized structure called kinetophore so it is located at the centromere then comes the anaphase so there is a division which has been taken place the spindle fibers here they are just going towards the end of the cell for example it is going towards the end of the cell so it is each sister chromatid of a metaphase chromosome is attached to the kinetophore microtubules so the opposite ends of these kinetophore microtubules associated with one of the spindle poles so in anaphase basically the kinetophore microtubules pull the two kinetophore towards the opposite pole so they will pull towards the opposite poles then comes the telophase telophase is basically the separated daughter cells here the daughter cells were separated so the separated daughter cells arrive at the poles and the kinetochore microtubules disappear so the here the kinetochore that is this part was in this was disappeared so the polar microtubules they elongate and still more and and the nuclear envelope reforms around each group of the daughter chromosome so the condensed the condensed chromatin expands once more and the nuclei which had disappeared at the prophase begins to reappear at the mitosis at the at the, at in the end so at the last it will be cytokinesis where there will be a division of cytoplasm the two daughter cells will be formed here because cytokinesis they accomplishes every karyogenesis karyogenesis means there is a nuclear division so uh, cytokinesis does not follow follow karyogenesis and there is a repeated cell division which leads to multi nucleated cells so cytokinesis begins in anaphase and ends in the telophase so cy cytokinesis where it begins it begins in the anaphase region it begins in the anaphase region where there was a division of cytoplasm and it ends in the last that is in the telophase region it ends in the telophase so this cytokinesis process in animals and plants they uh, it has been achieved by cleavage and in the latter the cytokinesis takes place by pla cell plate formation so this was all about the stages of mitosis